Hello, this is Adam Douglas for a Dangerous Tackle. I'm going to show you one more tip on how to tie your swim jig on the fluorocarbon line. I normally throw my swim jig on braided line, but there are a few situations that I do throw it on fluorocarbon. Um, I've heard this knot called a lot of different things. Um, one of the more popular ones I've heard is a double uni knot. Don't quote me on that because I don't know that's that exact name. Um, I've seen Shaw, Shaw Grisby tie this knot, and ever since I've started using it, my break-off percentage with fluorocarbon has decreased dramatically. It's a very simple knot to tie. What you want to do is, you first you want to start, you want to make up this doubled end. You want to double up, double up your line. And normally I, I pinch it tight a little bit, not too tight. It's fluorocarbon, it's very sensitive. You get a nick in it burn anything in it, it's going to break. So you want to run that doubled end through the eyelet like so. Once again you want to slide it through if you know how to tie a Palomar knot. These first few steps are basically the same. Just like a Palomar knot you want to double up and you got this loop right here so you got this extra little piece of line sticking out the end. And unlike the Palomar, normally Palomar you'll stick it through that loop. You don't want to do that. With this, you're going to take this and you're going to wrap it around these two sets of line three times. So there's one, there's two, and there's the third one coming around right now. So now we have your original doubled up line right here, and you've got this loop where my fingers are right here. You want to run this back up towards your main line, away from your jig. Now you can start pulling that a little bit. Now it's going to look like this. You can pull a little bit tight. Then this is where you want, to, you want to put a lot of spit on it. Sometimes I'll put the jig right in the water and get water on it, make sure it's got plenty of moisture. Right where the knot's going to be so you don't have a burn mark. If, if foil carbon has any friction on it, like I said before, you'll, br you'll break that off. And when you're pulling it tight, you'll hear a pop. I don't know if you caught it on camera, but there's just a slight little tick. You'll hear and you'll feel a little pop when you when you pull your line tight. And now you've got three ends to worry about cutting off. You've got this doubled up line you started off originally and your tag line. You want to clip those down short. So We'll give her a pull there. Like I said, I've heard it called the double union knot. I've heard it called a couple different things. But whatever it is, it's the best knot. You can tie fluorocarbon when you're throwing your swim jig. Hopefully this tip helped you. Next time you're on the water, 